Let's get over to our man, Mr. Dave Mazur, as we do each and every other Monday. Uh, you can, Dave is the head of product and managing director of direction. As you write it out, website right there, folks, just hit that direction banner. It will bring you over as to, you know, bottom line in this type of market, you know, whether you want to hedge, whether you want to be a bull, whether you want to bear a bear, we have it all happening and we haven't had this type of market in quite some time. Dave Mazda, how you doing? I'm doing well. Happy to be back. Yes, absolutely. Great to have you. So what I'd love to talk about is, you know, the notes and bonds, right? Um, you know, the, the, the bottom line is that, you know, folks, rates have been going up. You know, the, the rate, note and bond market is going down as they're going down. Uh, you know, your TMV, I mean, that's a three, it's a 300 percent, folks, um, bear position. Uh, you don't have to be a bear. I'm just I'm just explaining that the bottom line is that there is always something to trade. Um, and the thing that's intriguing to me, Dave, about the the note and bond market in general is that, you know, first we went straight down, you know, then we got a little bounce. And like what I can't understand sometimes is that there's so many folks that think that the rates aren't going to go higher. I mean, the Fed's telling us the rates are going higher. <laughs> so when I actually hear that they say, oh, it's already baked into the marketplace, I'm saying to myself, okay, the Fed fund rate is 1%. They claim they're going to go to 25 and, and, and I can understand it. We're in a market, okay? So everyone, you know, you're a bull, you're a bear. I get it. But can you talk a little bit about the, the note and bond market? Because, see, your, your tenure, I mean, there's a lot of liquidity in that one. I mean, the 30-year. The 10-year, there's not as much. But the 30-year is a beauty, man. I, I trade the 30-year. I, I like it. Yeah, so TMF and TMV provide exposure um, to the essentially the long bond. Uh, so 20 plus year, 30 year uh, treasuries, but in a leveraged fashion. So TMF is your bull and TMV is your bear. Um, so what we are what we've seen, particularly as really uh, rates have moved up. But I, I think as you're alluding to really volatility uh, in the interest rate market has has increased and remained high. So there's something called the move index, which is similar to the VIX, but but really for treasuries. And that's remained, you know, quite high for this for, uh, for the year because exactly as you're saying, it's unclear. The market is not really accepting what the Fed is telegraphing, right? So these 50, the 50 basis points hikes that are coming and potentially not just a 25, but a 50 on the table for September. You know, these are these are these are sizable moves in the Treasury market. Uh, and uh, even though we've seen a kind of a risk off event pull down as people bought bonds again, you know, today's an example where, where that might not necessarily be a one way direction. So we got to stay focused on the data because inflation keeps surprising the upside. And right now, economic growth is beginning to slow. Doesn't mean we're in a recession tomorrow or in the next month, but the opportunity to take advantage of this opportunity exists. Yeah, there's no doubt. So now what, what I'd like to do, because it seems to me, you know, when We've been doing business a long time now. I don't know if it's 10 or 15 years, actually. But I remember at the beginning of it, we used to always get so many calls about the small caps, right? And all of a sudden, like about two months ago, the whole TNA is the whole thing's happening again. It's like it's kind of intriguing. Do you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I can kind of tell where people are at as to how many calls come in. So can we talk about the small caps a little? Because those, when they move, they really move, man. Yeah, small caps have been in a tough spot, right? So for, for years, uh, strategists, you know, in their in their uh, forward prediction say, this is the year for small caps. Right. Because really for a decade, if not more, they've underperformed large caps. And historically over the years, smalls, mids, you know, they, they're, you're taking on more risk, but they do outperform. We haven't been in that environment. Um, and we did see some green shoots for small caps really last year, but that ended quickly, particularly if we've seen this kind of uh, risk off tone pick up last year and, of course, really uh, pick up uh, starting uh, late last year into this year. However, uh, and what, uh, we, we saw kind of trading volume in TNA and, and TZA, which are the bullish and bearish uh, three, three, three yes. times used or ETFs for, uh, for the Russell 2000 index go down um, a base of the historical average because there wasn't a lot of activity there. But what we, what we what I would would advocate for is to I think what you're saying, have, have investors keep both on their radar, because right. if we do, if 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 the economy, you know, if China maybe reopens the zero covid policy changes or we hear from the Fed that it's, it isn't going to be 
50 basis points, 50 basis points, 50 basis points, because or if inflation starts coming down, small caps do have the potential to, to really rip higher. But at the same time, if that doesn't happen, we may still end up in a bearish environment for small caps. So both of those could be tools uh, for traders in this environment. Yeah, and there, you know, and when you take a look at it, you know, the small caps really didn't get a lot of juice going. Then all of a sudden they hit the high, they came off it, but they seem to just, they seem to be a little more stable right now. And we all know that we don't know where the market's going. <laughs> That's the bottom line. And this is such an intriguing place because you, know, you took the first leg down, it's like, okay, you know, which way do you want to go now? And we're coming into the summer and, you know, things slow down a little in the summer. So we'll see where this goes out. Folks, as you're on the website of the TFNN, just hit that direction banner. You can bring it over there. They get a great newsletter that goes out, keeps you up to date on what's going on in the direction shares each and every day. Dave, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to speaking to two weeks from today. Thank you. Talk soon. Thank you, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 21. NASDAQ's up 32. S&Ps are up 10. We'll come right back.